Brothers and sisters, I'm Jesse with Living Tree Community Food, and today we're going to perform magic. In an instant, we're going to make a live organic almond milk. It's too easy. Let's get a start. We're going to start with an ordinary kitchen blender. With ordinary kitchen blender, we're going to add three cups of Mountain Valley spring water. There are many, many spring waters out there. In our humble opinion, Mountain Valley is simply the best. It's, it goes, it's been produced since 1871. That goes, that you will agree, goes way, way, way back. So here we go. Two cups of spring water. Two cups of spring water. And now, we're going to add our Alive Organic Almond Butter. We make it fresh weekly here at our production plant in Berkeley, California. And we're going to add one tablespoon and then another tablespoon. We're going to blend, and watch this. The miracle is going to occur. It's fleshed into white milk. That's almond milk. Much, much better than you can buy in any store. What you find in the store, they're all in sterilized uh, packs, and they've been sitting on the shelf for months upon months upon months. And besides that, they've, and before that, they've been stored in warehouses, they've been transferred to stores, so the almond milk is how old anyone's guess. Whereas here, you've made it fresh yourselves. So, our alive organic almond milk, we're not going to stop there. We're going to add some, um, we're going to add some medjool, some Diglett Nord dates. And it just so happens we order, we offer a pitted Deglet Nor. It's so easy to work with. The pits have been removed. These are magnificent. They're grown here in California. Can't ask for more. So some pitted Deglet Nor dates. And then we're going to add some medjools. These are also grown here, right here in California. Isn't this a wonderful, magnificent place? And we're, so we're going to uh, pit a few medjools. And one more. And then we've, and then we have just added to our repertoire a, another date called a honey date. It is of highest quality, highest quality, uh, somewhat off the beaten track. And we're going to add some honey dates. They have wonderful flavor and texture, also grown right here in California. So, some honey dates. We're not uh, quite, and then for our, uh, our next ingredient, we're going to add some of our uh, alive organic sun-dried Thompson seedless raisins. Let's put a couple tablespoons of those. And last, our Oregon grown Alive organic blueberries. We'll add a couple of tablespoons of those. Okay, and now we uh, we press the button. And 
And that's it. Three sorts of dates, Thompson seedless raisins, and Oregon-grown blueberries. Oh, oh, and I've almost forgot, but uh, we're also going to add some of our Call of the Wild honey. This is a magnificent Canadian honey. It comes from the, uh, from the Canadian North. And we'll, we'll, uh, we'll add some of that. That's it. A live organic almond milk far superior to anything one can to, to the pasteurized uh, products that's, that have been sitting forever on grocery store shelves. A live organic almond butter. And I'd like to mention a few uh, things if I may. I'd like to uh, tell you about our almond butter. The Kortoff family, based in Fresno, happens to grow our almonds. And they're California family farmers of five generations. They came here from the old country with just their shirts on their backs. And they bought a few acres of land and started growing crops. Their object was just to grow, it, just to grow food to feed their families. They scrimped and saved, they purchased more land, and now on 500 acres, they grow over a million pounds of almonds. They harvest, clean, sort, and package their almonds, and in a world increasingly linear and mechanistic, it is not easy to understand that intentionality, intentionality, what's going on in the heads of the people who produce your food, who manufacture your food, makes a real difference in any living thing. Intentionality in raising a child, for example, intentionality in growing a plant or a tree or an almond makes every possible difference. Uh, think of it. Think how the lettuce and tomatoes in your garden respond so magnificently to the extra care and devotion you give in fertilizing and in mulching them. They respond right away. So too with almonds. So when you open a jar of living tree alive organic almond butter, five generations of California farmers are looking down on you. A woman phoned and asked, why don't you call your almond butter raw? Well, instead of raw, we use the word alive. In other words, if we just called it raw, what we were saying, what we would be saying is that it is simply uncooked. But it's so much more meaningful to say that the almond butter is associated with bubbling, streaming life. We've all discovered the importance of aliveness in food, in the food we eat. Does it not does it not behoove us to amplify aliveness, to broadcast it, to stand up and be counted for aliveness? Read, the, read aloud the headlines in any newspaper. The world is going into a very remarkable place. We ha it behooves us. It's our duty. It's our responsibility to stand up and be counted for life. That's really what it's all about. It's more important than ever to regenerate, to renew, 
and recreate. This is the task of our generation to exemplify aliveness in everything we do. Thank you so very much indeed, friends, brothers and sisters. Our privilege and thank you.